Good morning, everyone. Man, it's hot already. I'm already, like, sweating. So, uh, I remember a long time ago that, I don't know if it was when Vine first came out, uh, the Vine app, or sometime after that, but uh, I had this uh, really cool idea to take an Arduino and to turn the Vine app into a time-lapse app and so I could post time-lapse. And this was before you could put, like, external content in Vine. Now everyone just edits them on their computer, which is super easy, and then puts them on Vine. No big deal, it's just a small video now. But before, you had no control. You could only touch the screen to record. So, I made this. So that was an Arduino inside of a case with a screen and you could set the amount of time, how long you want the time lapse to be and you'd know it had to be six seconds because that's how long vines were so it would divide how long you want the time lapse to be into a set interval and then it would tap the screen manually to take a quick snapshot and then, and then you could post that time lapse. This got a huge response. People thought it was so cool. A lot of people thought it was really stupid which is funny also, like, great. It was cool because there's a lot of people that liked Vine at the time but didn't really know about electronics and like Arduinos and stuff. And then there were people in electronics that didn't really know about Vine. It was a mishmash of two completely different things. So when Beam came out, it posed another challenge. A challenge for me that I realized right away you can't walk up to the camera, you can only walk away from it because you have to place it or put your hand on it or do something. That's why I built this. It's a remote shutter for the Beam app. Here's the shutter. Remote shutter. basically what I'm gonna do. Really simple circuit. Super simple actually. No real work involved. So that's the Arduino. This is the RF. Which is just a digital I.O. going into the Arduino. And then I've got this servo going in here as well. Just like that and basically I'm going to mount the servo on the phone up here and this little piece is going to rotate in front of the sensor. Okay, let's build it. So it's done. Arduino, battery, wireless receiver thing, little servo, and the trigger. So I can just click that. I can just slide the phone in like this. Wow, oh, the screen's dirty. And send off some beam.
Easy as that. What's up, Beam? And the vlog, filming both. So, yeah, see? That's how it works. Super simple. It just puts the thing in front of the sensor. When I hit this, do it again, Beam people are gonna be like, what's going on? And we'll just keep recording until the beam is over. Right, Beam? Right. So, that's all there is to it. Make stuff, just like yesterday's vlog. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. I've got the Arduino here, which is a Pro Mini. Uh, 9 volt battery, which is just using the regulator on the Arduino. And this is the little cheapo relay, wireless relay system, which just toggles the pins on the Arduino. And this handle here, I mean the button, this button here, uh, again, battery, and it's just a little spark fun thing. And also regulates it, and then goes to the sending unit for this communication system, which is just connected to one of the pins. So that when it's plugged in, there's still no power going to anything, but this button starts the power and also triggers the pin at the same time. So it'll basically be dormant. Not really dormant because this booster actually sucks power when it's not doing anything. <clears throat> and this is just some button. It looks kind of sketchy. Looks like some kind of detonator or something. I'm sure that's what people think it was. So, yeah, with the vine thing, I mean, it's one of those useless things, but it's fun to make. It had no purpose. I'm pretty sure I took it apart week or two later to use the parts that were inside of it and that's probably the fate this will get also uh, I'll use it for a bunch of beams until I get tired of using it and I'll move on to something else but these fun useless things that I make and that people make and that some people think are just dumb and useless like I just said those people don't really understand what it's like to make something and how fun it is, and it's the process of making it, it's the process of, hey, I have this idea, there's a problem, you can't trigger the shutter without being near your phone. How can we come up with a solution to that? And this is my solution, and it's very, very quick, very quick and dirty, I guess you'd call it, and parts I have laying around. There was a couple other ways I was thinking of trying, but this was the simplest solution. And it stands up, actually I need to make it stand so it's like that, but it stands up one direction so I can just put something underneath it, trigger it, and it would be recording right now if I was on Beam, but I'm sure the people on Beam are tired of seeing me testing this thing out and then talking and saying, sorry, I'm testing something out. If you think it's stupid, well, you don't, you probably don't know what it's like to make something, even stupid useless things because it's fun. And it's fun to make things and it's fun to be creative and take your ideas and make them real. Because not a lot of people can do that. And if you can do that, then you're going to stand out way more than someone who's just going to sit around and complaining about how useless or stupid something is. So that's what I made today. I wanted to make something. I made it. It was fun. It's funny I was talking about making things yesterday, but today I actually did something. I guess that works. And I had a good time doing it. So if you can do better, you'll probably put it in the comments, but I won't believe you until you do it, so go and do it. And now I'm going to get on with what I normally do, and that's go take some pictures, maybe get some time lapses, so everyone be good. Good night. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. If you like what I was doing today, you should subscribe because I'll be doing more of it. And if you want to see the stuff I was doing on Beam, then add my username, Sean Hodgins. Whoa! Look what my voice is doing to the thing down here. Crazy. Uh, uh. Okay, bye.